Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Wow, what a uh, interesting kind of a window that we're in here with the uh, shutdown, the stay at home orders for a lot of us, uh, especially up here in Michigan. I'm actually in my storage locker. I uh, got to put a bunch of holiday gifts away and do the whole honey do list. Guys, I'm kind of uh, cooped up. I'm getting, what's the, what do they call it? The cabin fever as well. And uh, man, I want to go out there and start cutting grass just like all of you guys. Um, on this video, I just wanted to take four or five minutes. I actually saw like a pretty similar video that Keith Kelfus dropped uh, just about a day ago talking about the same stuff like, can we go outside and work? And I wanted to talk about non-essential businesses. Um, the reason I wanted to do this video is just to give you guys some encouragement, some hope. Uh, here's the deal. I don't have it all figured out. I'm uh, in the same boat that a lot of you guys are uh, that have a non-essential work order, which kind of stinks. And we can't go out and cut grass. It's pretty frustrating to say the least. Um, if you take like the top 10 essential uh, parts of the uh, uh, businesses, I think like landscapers and lawn care guys would be like number 11, right? Uh, so it's kind of frustrating that we can't go out there. Um, as of, I think it was Monday night at like 11.59, we were shut down. So that we are a non-essential business, meaning we cannot go cut grass, landscaping, and do the whole deal, which I feel for a lot of guys. I feel for me, I feel for you guys that are watching. <clears throat> you know, I'm not impervious to this either. And uh, you know, we, we have a couple bucks in the bank, like we're not, you know, super freaking out. But at the same point, I wanna go work. Um, we've had like the first actual spring in Michigan in like three years. Uh, today is 60 degrees, it's beautiful. I just was going around my lake, uh, going around a lake right where I live. And uh, man, there had to have been a couple hundred people out there walking, biking, throwing frisbees. Uh, I saw three or four people putting in their um, their dock for, for their for the lake, for the boats, and uh, it's just crazy. So everybody's kind of getting that cabin fever. Um, here's what I wanted to talk about for just a couple quick seconds, <clears throat> and maybe you guys can give me a little bit of latitude, because I wanna know two things by the end of this video. If you guys wanna leave me a comment down below, if you guys are an essential business, where you live, and if you guys can go to work. Uh, kind of same thing that Keith did, because I want this to be a resource for you guys to spread factual information that we can help each other grow in this lawn care community. The reason I wanted to do this video though, um, and just to be honest with you guys, I've seen a lot of things out there that kind of frustrate me and to be totally honest with you, I'm kind of disappointed as well. Um, there are a lot of folks that are sending out wrong information, misinformation, uh, telling you guys that you can go to work and they're justifying it and they're saying, well, we follow under this umbrella so we can go to work and we're essential business. Um, can I just be totally frank with you guys right now? Just to be uh, a little bit more uh, um, serious on this kind of a video. Here's what I would say. Guys, in all honesty, I'm not a big government kind of guy. I'm not gonna get political, but I'm a pretty conservative dude and I don't want the government telling me to uh, what I can and can't do or to limit anything that uh, I can do with my life or my business. However, in the na uh, name of a national pandemic and health and safety concerns and the whole deal, um, I think it's extremely um, just bad optics, dude. It's a little naive, it's a little ignorant to be running around giving information saying that you can go to work if you factually can't. What am I trying to say? So there's been some emails from some pretty big organizations, uh, some local organizations and local companies uh, who are, their success is predicated on our success and or utilizing their products or services, giving out information saying that in Michigan we can go to work. Now, I'm not here to get into a peeing contest whether or not that's true. Here's what I'm just trying to say. Be smart, don't be cute because here's the deal. You do not want to be one of those businesses that goes into the uh, firing lines and the firing squad and gets shut down at a time like this. For example, uh, where I live in Oakland County, Michigan, uh, there is a hotline set up dedicated to, uh, uh, for the Attorney General saying that if you see somebody working, call and we will go investigate or uh, fine and or pull their business license potentially for a year. Um, this is not a time to be cute, funny, or smug, or smart, you know what I mean? Um, trust me, I don't like it any more than you guys do. And so here's the deal. I know um, certain states, like I, and again, fact check me, leave me some comments. I think I saw like Pennsylvania, uh, landscapers and lawn care guys are essential. I think New Jersey, uh, maybe. Uh, I think at the, this time, Ohio is. Uh, I think Illinois is. Maybe certain parts of California. So leave me some comments down below. I, again, I'm not here to give health advice, and I'm not also here to give legal advice by any means. But this is what I built this YouTube channel for, for you guys to have it be a resource and a, a community resource where we can all work together and get real time information down below. Now, don't speculate, please, in the comments, don't speculate. I think we, uh, here's what I'm getting a lot of. Well, we um, uh, 
uh, file under agriculture or we're a um, pest and service and vermin you know can like grow and uh, ticks and Lyme disease don't play that game right now that's all I'm just trying to say I, I love you guys I care about you guys but if you get an email and that's what a company is telling you right now that under provision 6542 uh, listen don't play that game right now. That's all I'm trying to say. So anyway, here's the last thing I'll say is you don't want to be that company that's passing out flyers right now that gets shut down because you're mowing grass or doing cleanups when you can't be. And now you're known in the neighborhood as the guy who's a public health um, uh, danger, right? And your, your business has really bad optics. So this is a timely video. Uh, I only do it to, uh, because I care about you guys. Again, I'm not your uh, resource with being legal or health or, or anything like that. I just wanna build this platform to share relevant information with you guys. Get all that uh, information from the CDC, your state governments, and uh, not necessarily from people who might have ulterior motives or agendas. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not, I'm not gonna get in the weeds on this one, all right? So if you guys want a little bit more uh, on this one, uh, I actually just today released a podcast with Michael Bedell. We talked about this for an hour and a half um, on episode, I think 22. Uh, some helpful tips during the coronavirus to stay in business, to be positive, some helpful financial tips, really practical stuff. So if you wanna check that out, uh, podcast is in the uh, description down below. I'll make sure to leave it there. So anyway, what can you guys do? Can you guys work? Let me know where you're at, if you guys are getting the all clear, if you're considered essential at the time of this recording, my opinion, Michigan is out. Michigan is not. And trust me, we've had a, a, a lousy winter. I'm hoping to make some headway. Look at this. It's 60 degrees right now. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm stuck indoors. You know what I mean? So it's frustrating. But I'm not going to have short-sightedness as I run my business trying to get out there in a rush when technically I could get my business license yanked. All right, guys? So just be smart. Don't be cute. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. Over and out. Bye.